The universe is 80% dark matter, making up the skeleton of an absolutely cosmic scale monstrosity of a structure called the cosmic web. Now, machine learning is helping researchers to understand how galaxies move and revealing the dark matter bridges between them. Yeah, you heard that right. Dark matter bridges. We're going to talk about this new scientific paper, but first be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to never miss a video. I'm Eric Malachite, author of Echoes of Olympus Mons, and this is Science Get. The gravitational pull coming from the structure known as the cosmic web dictates the motion of galaxies and intergalactic material, but knowing the distribution of dark matter in the cosmic web is crucial to understanding the large-scale structure of the universe. However, it should be no surprise to our loyal viewers how elusive dark matter is. But it's important to note that while we haven't been able to observe what we call dark matter directly, we definitely see that something is exerting its gravitational influence throughout the known universe. It's thought that the cosmic web is dominated by dark matter as well as hot and warm intergalactic material, but it's extremely hard to trace either of those substances. In 1933, Fritz Zwicky inferred the existence of the cosmic web from observations of the velocity dispersion of the Coma Cluster, which is a large cluster of galaxies that contains over 1,000 of them. And in 1973, Vera Rubin confirmed its existence through the flat rotation curve observed in galaxies. And this year, a 3D spectrograph known as the MUSE instrument installed on the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile was used to observe a hydrogen filament structure imaged here in the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, revealing for the first time a piece of the cosmic web and a multitude of dwarf galaxies that were hidden in the depths of the universe. I'm just going to let you sit there and stare at this image for a moment until you realize how freaking cool it is. While some scientists question the existence of dark matter, astronomers continue to make discoveries which necessitates the existence of non-baryonic matter. And this is where deep learning comes in. As we mentioned before, evidence for the existence of dark matter, or at the very least non-baryonic matter, can be clearly seen in the form of gravitational influence on large structures, like nearby galaxies. Thanks to an international team, including an astrophysicist from Penn State, we may finally have an idea as to where this dark matter is hiding. The team has used deep learning to predict where dark matter in the cosmic web might have been hiding in the early universe. Dong Hui Zhang, associate professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State and co-author of this study said, Ironically, it's easier to study the distribution of dark matter much further away because it reflects the very distant past, which is much less complex. Over time, as the large scale structure of the universe has grown, the complexity of the universe has increased. So it is inherently harder to make measurements about dark matter locally. Early models of the universe simulated the evolution of galaxies and superstructures over billions of years. But simulations like those require supercomputers, and the computational strain on those machines is so great that the resulting simulations have been unable to paint a detailed enough picture of even our local universe. This study, however, uses a different approach, using deep learning to build the model instead. We've talked about deep learning before in our video on how deep learning's carbon footprint could be contributing to climate change. Check that video out in the description to learn more about it and deep learning as a whole. By using deep learning, the team was able to use the information like the distribution of galaxies as well as their motion to predict the overall dispersal of dark matter. To accomplish this, Jiang and his team of researchers built and trained their AI model using a large selection of galaxy simulations, called Illustrious TNG, which I strongly suspect was inspired by Star Trek The Next Generation for no reason whatsoever. These simulations include galaxies, various types of visible matter, gases, and of course, dark matter. The selections of galaxy simulations were specifically curated to include galaxies comparable to those like our own. Through this process, they were able to identify which properties of galaxies are needed to predict the distribution of dark matter. Zhang went on to say, When given certain information, the model can essentially fill in the gaps based on what it has looked at before. 
The map from our models doesn't perfectly fit the simulation data, but we can still reconstruct very detailed structures. We found that including the motion of galaxies, their radial peculiar velocities, in addition to their distribution, drastically enhanced the quality of the map and allowed us to see these details. Once their AI model completed its model of the dark matter distribution in the cosmic web, the researchers applied it to actual data from the local universe from the Cosmic Flow 3 Galaxy Catalog. This catalog contains comprehensive data about the movement, composition, and distribution of 17,000 galaxies within 200 megaparsecs, which is a measurement equal to 3.26 million light years. The result was a map of the cosmic web of the known universe that not only reveals the distribution of dark matter, but also surprised the researchers and this science communicator by showing that structures of dark matter might connect galaxies, which I have dubbed dark matter bridges. The map was also able to repeat the formation of well-known structures that we observe in the local universe, including one we call the Local Sheet, which is an area of space where the Milky Way and a bunch of neighboring galaxies reside. The simulation also reconstructed the formation of galaxies in the Virgo Cluster and a relatively sparse part of space next to the local group, called the Local Void. In addition to all of this, the deep learning simulation also identified some new structures that will have to be investigated further, including these filamentary structures that bridge the gaps between galaxies. Dark matter bridges. Say it with me. Jean continued by saying, having a local map of the cosmic web opens up a new chapter of cosmological study. We can study how the distribution of dark matter relates to other emission data, which will help us understand the nature of dark matter. And we can study these filamentary structures directly, these hidden bridges between galaxies. Some of you might be familiar with the idea that the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy are predicted to merge in several billion years' time, but we are unsure of the exact timetable on that. Simulations like this, as well as understanding how these dark matter bridges influence the movement of galaxies, would make that far clearer. Zhang concluded by saying, Because dark matter dominates the dynamics of the universe, it basically determines our fate. So we can ask a computer to evolve the map for billions of years to see what will happen in our local universe. And we can evolve the model back in time to understand the history of the cosmic neighborhood. Zhang and his team believes that they can further improve the accuracy of their models using deep learning, potentially by adding even more galaxies to it. And once again, the James Webb Telescope will be key to this in the future. Plan surveys using the new telescope, which will use the sun's gravitational lensing to peer where no one has peered before. <laughs> Get it? Potentially observing entirely new galaxies. On a personal note, I speculated in Echoes of Olympus Mons that there was a dark matter web that mirrored the cosmic web, connecting every structure in the universe. And if these simulations are correct, that might just be the case. Although I really hope there aren't any dark matter phantoms lurking in it, because that would suck for us. But since this is a model based off of supercomputer simulations that were admittedly not 100% accurate, it remains to be seen just how accurate this map really is. Zhang himself admitted that their model doesn't fit every simulation, so we'll just have to wait and see. But this could be a major step toward understanding where dark matter congregates in our universe, and if we know where it is, maybe we'll finally be able to observe it. I'll just cross my fingers and hope that we don't accidentally stumble upon some eldritch monstrosity while we're at it. If you dug this content, drop me a like and comment your favorite science fiction stories in any medium that features dark matter. Comments including Echoes of Olympus Mons get instant hearts. And be sure to smash that subscribe button, ring that bell to never miss an episode of the show, and check out the Patreon while you're at it. Hey, speaking of which, look at all those names. Some new ones, too. Thank you, patrons. I'm Eric Malachite, and I'll see you next time.